inside our universe, normally the largest species is what we call gods and goddesses. Larger than us because their center is not within form, it's outside form. The center of our, their consciousness, so it's also outside of time from our perspective. So gods, what are gods? Are multidimensional beings that in a specific time and context connect to a people. This is very important to understand. And again, it goes back a little bit at the idea of mediumship. So we create the gods. Humanity, the different peoples have created the gods, meaning that when they develop an understanding of the beyond, when they developed a cult of the ancestors that could be the connection with the beyond, then they started calling upon forces that exist outside in higher and higher uh, areas of the astral, if you want to call it like this, of the universe, that exist, but they became their gods when there was an alliance. Could you just share a bit more about uh, how you see the stories connecting from Horus to Christ at this present moment? Okay, so Horus, um, most people know this name as it, an Egyptian god, but it's not an Egyptian god. Horus is a cosmic force, much greater than the earth, and for us it is, has been identified with the sun because it is the direction from which the synchronic lines, the energy lines that transport energy, the codes of evolution and souls come. So Horus is a frequency. In Italian, Horus at the center has ore, which means gold. So it also represents this alchemical transformation of each one into the best that we can be, into gold. It's literally our inner alchemy. And the sun gives life to, to everything on our planet. So Horus is a vibration of evolution, which is connected to this grand design of the evolution of humanity in connection with everything. The earth, the plants, the animals, what in Damano we call Vaine, this great design. So Christ was a representative of that frequency. Christ also was an emissary of Horus, meaning an emissary of this greater plan of evolution. One of Christ's most important mission was to bring the archetype of brotherly love, that compassion, empathy, as humanity, to really feel each other. And he did this splendidly, and that's why also he chose to die that way, because that was identifying with the, the ones that were considered the worst in society. He showed how love has no border how love is really redemption. He brought all of these values that didn't exist. The inner value of every human being, no matter what you've done, there is always that possibility through love to change everything, also the last moment of your life. So Christ brought this. One of the tenets of our story is that there is a program for the human species that we call it Vaine. So that's how we pronounce this word. This is a word in the Manurian sacred language and the little uh, scribble you see is the Damanurian um, symbol for it. So if you want to copy, this is the Damanurian sacred language symbol meaning the direction of evolution of humanity. We believe that there are many other species connected to vine and the planet. It's not just for humans, it's for everything. The plants, the trees, the, the whole ecosystem of the earth and the earth herself. We're all evolving together. And of course, many more are in the universe. So vine is really this recognition of human, plants, animals and minerals on planet earth with the earth herself. And then of course, beings and intelligences of other worlds, divine forces at all levels. Thank you.